I'm Blake, and this is the Guide to Georgia Outdoors. On this episode, we're going to be wade fishing the Canoochee River to catch some fish. Let's go for it. Wade fishing is a little difficult. You know, you're only allowed to carry what you can carry on your back while you're going. So I keep my fishing pole, um, nothing, nothing fancy there. I keep my crickets on my side. A vest is important to keep your gear handy close to you. But when you're fishing, you're not trying to win any fashion awards. You're trying for function. So I got these cargo shorts. Now I know cargo shorts are not typically the coolest thing in the world, but hey, pockets are great when you're doing this type of fishing. The shoes, you gotta look at the shoes now. These shoes right here are the most important piece of equipment that I have. They allow the sand and the rocks in and out because you don't want, there's nothing more uncomfortable than having rocks and sand in your shoes. Um, other than that, the last thing I want, I know it sounds simple, I want belt loops. The reason why I keep belt loops is I keep my stringer tied to my waist when I'm adding fish on and off. That's just a matter of convenience. This is my personal style. And to catch fish, you gotta get in there where other people aren't. So here we go, we're about to, we're about to go for it. So let's check it out. Nothing is quite as important as the first fish of the day. Didn't take long, just a couple casts, we got one. This is a stump knocker if you're not familiar with them. Um, not a big fish, but they, they fry up great. They're a good tasting fish, so uh, hopefully this is just one of many. <laughs> As a fisherman, I'm looking for these areas of structure on the deep side of the river. Now, I know this river's pretty shallow and there's not really much deep water, but you're looking for that, the structure that's on the deep side. And you gotta understand something about fish or their ambush predators are gonna stay in cover until food source or something comes by. And also, red breast and bluegill, the fish we're catching, they're not at the top of the food chain, so they also need to hide out from other predators as well. So I'm looking for areas like this. There's a lot of roots, a lot of structure under the water, a good place for these uh, fish to hide out. There he is. All right, that's why you come. That's why you get back here on red breast. Good size. I'll take that all day long. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Jamie's on the board. All right. There he is. There he is. Oh, he hung me. Hung me. Hmm. Now here's the fun part. I'm hung up. Do I break off or do I go and get it? Now right, let's go get it. You know, I haven't really introduced Jamie. This is his debut with the uh, guy to Georgia Outdoors. And usually I just bring him along for company. He's not much of a fisherman, but today he, uh, he's got the lucky horseshoe up his behind. He is catching some fish. And I figured out why he's catching fish today. He is wearing his lucky loafers. He's got on his penny loafers, his church shoes out here fishing. And uh, let's just hope he can get them dry before church tomorrow morning. Uh, these are my lucky uh, river shoes. Uh, they laugh because I wear these in Sunday school too, but they are effective. Golly, that will make you that will make you hock in your pants. That is a the biggest snake in Georgia. He is the uh, the indigo snake, one of only two that I have ever seen in Georgia. Wow! Look at him. I'm not gonna mess with him. Well, you're talking about a beautiful snake. This one's probably seven foot long. And there we are fishing, there's Jamie. And there he is. This is why you come out to the river fishing. 
There he goes. Beautiful snake. He's messing with it. There he is. Alright. Once again, all day long, this size right here. Oh, dang, I'm not recording. No, I'm playing. All day long, right there. Not worth keeping. <laughs> Headshot, two points. <laughs> it's good. As you can tell, it's raining, but that ain't stopping us from fishing. Uh, actually, I could appreciate this. It's cooling me off a little bit. But maybe this break in the weather. Look, Jamie's got one right there. I don't know what it is, but this break in the weather has got fish biting. It's been a pretty good day for the red breast. We just switched over to the bass, and they're hitting it pretty good. That's a good size one. That's a, he's keeper size. He's going to be filleted and put in, the, uh, in some grease. Jamie, I think we did pretty good. We had about 30 fish. Yeah, uh, you know, good days you can see. I mean, it was an awesome day. Overcast, I think they turned yeah, on a little better. Yeah, when, it was, when it was raining, we did pretty good. Let's see here, we caught red breast, some bluegill, some brim, a couple warm mouth, a bass, a little bit of everything. And how about that indigo snake, man? That was awesome. He's probably, what, yeah. seven foot long? Absolutely, yeah. So this is why you go here in the turkeys gobble, catching the fish, seeing the snakes. But uh, check out the next episode. Drew's going to take these fish and get them to the table. But until then, this has been the unofficial, no doubt, incomplete guide to George Outdoors. <laughs>